I guess uh, when I first started shooting pictures way back in the 70s, even in black and white, uh, there were more people at the British seaside, but as the package holiday took off, they, you know, they became uh, uh, more deserted. But there's always places like Broadstairs, which is where we are now, will always do very well because it's such a brilliantly pretty quintessential uh, British seaside towns. I'm very happy to be here uh, shooting these pictures for Farrah. It's one of my favourite uh, seaside towns in the whole country. Uh, it's just got a sort of very intimate sort of feel to it. it it's one that, uh, you know, it's very sort of Hulot's holiday, if you like. You know, it, it's got that sort of dreamy kind of look. You can do that. A bit more, two inches more apart on the legs. That's it. I love to photograph everywhere, so I'm quite happy whether I'm in India, China, UK, Italy. Yeah. But I, I guess probably the UK more because it's a subject I know more than any others. And I have a sort of love-hate relationship with it, which I can explore through photography. It's almost like a form of therapy. I guess you, you can love and hate a country at the same time. And uh, I can express the ambiguity and the contradiction within that through the photography that I explore uh, in, in taking pictures in the UK. And um, that's really what it's about. It's about a contradiction and ambiguity. Uh, I'm working with people like Farah because uh, they give me opportunities to apply what I've learned through my career in photography uh, into sort of commercial situations and solving problems with photography. It's a challenge I like to take on. And uh, I mean, here we are in March, and in fact, we're pretending it's summer and we can um, play make-believe because photography is all about fiction.